okay so now we're going to look at the interface between the driver the kernel which is our favorite kernel monster and the drivers themselves yeah, again make a little driver Okay, so the issue is that this is done by uh, using switch tables. As you know, character devices and block devices have a separate interfaces, like they behave differently. Character devices are uh, sequential and block devices offer a random functionality. So they need to have different kinds of semantics. And we also know that a device is represented in the file system by a device special file okay and like all files this file also has an inode what information does this special file inode contain it contains the major device number the minor device number and yeah the major device number and the minor device number the major device number is obviously the logical file system and the minor device number tells the number of the identical, if there are many identical devices, so we have three identical devices, then you have three minor devices for that particular major device. For example, if you have three devices by Samsung, so the major device number will be something like three or four, and the minor device number will be one, two, three for each of those Samsung devices. It depends from manufacturer to manufacturer, each manufacturer has their own drivers, and you may have more than one device from one particular manufacturer, therefore one driver can, can control these three devices. When a, uh, when a driver contains controls three devices, it does maintain state for all these three devices. It maintains separate state for them. And so now that it knows what device to go to, it first looks at this. The special file contains, also it contains the file type. File type, which is, tells whether it is character or block. So depending on that, when you make these system calls, open, close, just a second. Uh, 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 uh. When you make these system calls, open, close, uh, read, write, then IOCTL and what is the last one? Strategy. These two are specialized. These two are specialized for I/O devices, and these four calls are the calls that we operate on regular files with. These four are regular mm -hmm. file calls. So these are modified for handling devices, so that at the higher level, devices are treated no different from files. Looking at the character type file type, the appropriate switch table is chosen. What is the switch table? There is a table maintained for each. There is a table maintained for character. And the table maintained for block devices. And what these tables contain are addresses to kernel functions, driver functions. These are the actual drivers. So you have open, uh, just a second. Suppose you have open, close, read, write, and IOCTL. You don't have read and write with uh, block devices because they are, those operations are handled with the use of the strategy system call which takes use of the buffer cache so you don't have those you just have open and read and write open and write 
Open and close. What are you doing? Open. Uh, open. Close. And strategy. Okay, and for each device, you have a separate entry printer, console, and so on. So you have printer, open, printer, close, and so on. All the system calls over here. All these driver functions over here. Alright. And similarly here. So these tables are indexed by the major device number. So for example, if you want to write to the printer, the device special file will contain this major device number as one for printer. And this is what is used to index into it. Alright? This is the index used. So to select something, the major device number is used. Then the minor device number is passed as a parameter to that particular call. So for example, you are calling close on the console. So console in our example is major device number 2. So close will be called for second row. Then suppose there are 3 or 4 consoles. Then that particular number will be passed to this console close function call. Okay. So that's it for how the character device switch table and the block device switch tables work. Now we look at each of the system calls in detail. How these system calls for files are modified to work for devices. First we look at open. The open system call the open system call behaves much the same way just like the it behaves for the regular files regular file stuff what are the regular file stuff first of all allocate and encode inode then increment reference count then a lot a slot in the file table and return a user file descriptor pointing to the entry in the user file descriptor table That's as far as the similarities go. But there is a difference. Since these are devices we are talking about, the semantics are slightly different as well. The difference comes that sometimes when you open a device, basically when you open something, when you open a device, when the driver calls a device it establishes a connection between the calling process which is effectively FD it is establishing a connection between the calling process and the device that is being operated on it establishes this connection and initializes any data structure that might be needed and uh, there, there, there can be some problems here. For example, suppose this after. So the initialization of these data structures may involve the procedure open causing it to sleep. For example, if you have a terminal, if you have a terminal, then you call open device specific open on it. So I present it by this device will open on it it won't 
it will go to sleep unless and until it receives somebody trying to log in so this is the initialization for a terminal but for a, a device like memory no initialization may be required this sleeping behavior has further ramifications if you look at it when something goes to sleep it may happen that this login may never happen at all or it may happen after a very long time so in that case there should be a way to reset the open system call just a second yeah, it may happen that that never occurs so in that case the kernel must be able to awaken the process from the sleep so you have the kernel here our favorite our kernel here it's awaken it from sleep and cancel the open system call on the receipt of a signal meaning when somebody does it log in you should be able to cancel the open system call and release the data structure error associated with the open system call now i don't understand why it needs to cancel the open system call call then i but maybe it has to do with the data structure release so the kernel must be able to awaken it or it should be able to reset so what is done is just before going to the device specific open system call it calls set jump and stores the process context and after returning from it either by the kernel awakening it or by actually receiving the signal that it was waiting for then the context is restored by using the long jump system call it releases all the data structures it had allocated for open similarly the dri the driver itself can catch these signals and release the data structures instead of the kernel having to do it it may also need to readjust the data structures if there is an error with the file with the device that it's trying to access for example the device is not configured then the open system call will fail and the allocated data structures have to be returned again when you are calling the open system call you may call it with certain arguments for example you may call it with the no delay option the no delay option says that if the signal means don't sleep so the open in our terminal example will just return will just return and it will be difficult for the user process to tell whether the hardware connection was established or not this complicates the reading semantics whether the connection was established established or not this affects the read semantics as well multiple opens what happens if a device is called with open multiple number of times so what you do is multiple depends on the semantics you keep count first of all and allow only if it makes sense for example if you're talking about a printer then it would not really make sense just to have more than one but if you're talking about a term a console then it does because this allows users to communicate with each other.